Hey guys, Star TV, and right now I am uh, doing a little uh, testing on the KVs of motors. Uh, I've, I've already grabbed a couple uh, to get started, and basically what this test is going to do is it's going to run the motors uh, on a, on a, um, on a, sorry, through some software on a thrust machine, and it's going to give me a KV reading, and the idea behind this is part of what I told you guys at the beginning of 2020 is that we were going to start <clears throat> testing motors and seeing if the KV readings are accurate, if they're over, under, what have you, to see which manufacturers are really doing uh, you know, holding up to their end. Because honestly, at the end of the day, without testing it, we don't know if they've wound the coils properly or what have you. So I'm randomly picking them. And uh, I'm going to start, I've got some T-Motors here. I've got some uh, of the uh, Brother Hobby uh, series here, the Speed Shields that they made for us, the Chaos series. Um, and we're going to go through a bunch of them. So I'm going to give you an idea of how this is going to work. And my cameras are all set up differently because we're actually getting ready to, um, what, what do I got here? I got, oh yeah, look, that's it. Because uh, we're getting ready to move to our new building, and so I'm kind of getting everything organized here. Uh, but in either case, here's how this is going to work. So I'm going to do a picture in picture because I know the other way uh, didn't work as well. So let me do, um, first of all, here's the setup, right? And you can see right here, there's the, there's the mount that we're going to put it to. We've got our LiPo sitting right there, and then some screws and stuff in the computer here. But what's more important is the screen that you can see. So I'm going to actually keep the screen bigger and leave the motor, uh, the, the screen for the motor smaller. And we're going to get started and show how this is going to work. So each, each, each motor is going to have one screw mounted at the bottom. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it'll be right there. Uh, let's see if you can see that, right? And that's just going to basically slide right into here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put another screw in the top to hold it in place. And then we'll tighten it down and we'll get, we'll run a uh, KV test on this. And we'll, using an electronic RPM sensor, which is attached to the um, ESC, we will get a reading of the KVs. And uh, the ESC that we're using right now is actually a T-Motor ESC. It is a T-Motor 45 amp. All right, so let me tighten that down. And I need to snip this um, zip tie real quick, so give me a second. I'll snip the zip tie here. Now, I will tell you ahead of time that it may get loud on your end. There's no prop, there's no load on this thing other than uh, the motor itself. There's nothing put on it, but still it can get a little loud or high pitched. So you may want to be prepared to turn your volume down. I've attached these clips on here to make it quicker to swap the motors out. And I will tell you that um, they work well. They've already been tested to be able to give a proper reading. Uh, all right, so here's first what we're gonna do is on this screen here, we have our uh, software, uh, a script that's been written to just pull KVs based on a 14 pole motor or 14 magnets inside the bell. So here it goes. I'm gonna click start. You're gonna see how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna click start. You hear the ESC initialize, and then you're gonna see the motor start spinning up. And this, this motor is actually this one here. So it's going to be the, what is that, 2600? That is the F40 Pro 2 2600 KV. Okay, so the 2600 is reading over on the KV value. Uh, just a little bit at 2662, which in this case, I mean, it's a it's a plus. That's a that's a positive. So that's good for us. So we're going to go ahead and pull this off now, and it would mean that the motor is T motor is putting uh, being very generous with their ratings on this one, and so it's acceptable to me to say that this motor is accurate uh, and worth it as far as um, as far as it goes. They they hit their mark. It didn't go under, which is basically what I'm looking for. So let me put this one up, and that is going to be the. Uh, T motor, and I need to get a pen here real quick. I need to write this down, so give me one second. <clears throat> Let me get my pen, Let me get my notepad. Now we're gonna make a note here because I wanna put these on our page. So the KV, so the F40 Pro 2, 2400 equal, or sorry, 2600 equals 2662. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to, um, let's do the uh, F40, uh, 2400 series. Let me put that on. I'll not screw this entire packaging here. Let's put that aside. And again, we're going to put one screw. And these, by the way, guys, these are all brand new motors. Uh, none of these have been used. So what you see out of the box is what you could expect if you were opening it yourself and uh, getting a reading. All right, so let's do that. And our battery is still showing fine. So let's just go ahead and get this going. Put this top. Put the top screw in here. Just like that. One, two, 
two and three. There we go. All right, so now this is the F40 Pro 2 2400. And let's see what that equals. Okay, so we're going to click start. Here, initialize again. Oops, I don't think I pressed the space bar. My bad. Uh, so let's go to manual. Okay, let's go back to automatic. Click return. Run. I must have hit the bar by accident. I apologize. Let's try that again without screwing it up this time. Twenty-five sixteen. Well, this is considerably higher on the KV, um, and while that may be a good thing for some, uh, it just depends on uh, it depends on what you're going for really. Because if you start getting too high of a KV, then you start pulling in quite a bit of amps. But so far, again, that is reading out at twenty-five sixteen on a twenty-four hundred KV, and uh, because it's such a high amount, I will. Um, grab another one and just do another test to see if this is more common so let me uh, but for now that's how it's going to stand for the time being so let me take that put that in its package here close that up all right now we're going to go to the f40 i'm sorry the f60 uh, Pro 2, wait, what is this one? This is the F60 2500 KV, I believe. Let me see. Yep, F60, let me write that down. F60 Pro 2 2500. Let's see how that does. So let's put the screw in the bottom. Okay, now we'll connect this back up. And let's get started. Okay, so this is going to be the first motor that tests below the right KV amount. Um, and so just to make sure that we have this right, I'm going to pull this off because when we start testing lower, it does get a little concerning, but they do have, uh, you know, there, there is a little bit of fault tolerance in this. There is a little bit of a, uh, error in this. Uh, I, I don't know what the percentage is usually. I know that when I talk, oh, well, hold on, let me just stay focused here. So we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. Yep. So we've got fourteen poles. So that's right. So this twenty-six, this twenty-five hundred is reading below twenty-five hundred. I'm going to try it one more time, uh, just to see if I get the same reading again. So bear with me a second. Let's give it another shot.
Uh, yeah, so it looks like we're pretty much in the same boat here. So it is reading just below 2,500 kV. So we'll pull that one off and make a note. And now we're going to jump to the, um, let's just jump to the uh, Brother Hobby Chaos Edition. And that was the same, 2492, 2498. So it's right in the range. <coughs> You know, I mean, there's obviously going to be a, probably a room for error on the software too. Although I'm not going to try to give a room for error right now only because uh, all the motors are using the same, uh, we're all using the same uh, setup here. So here's going to be a 2400 kV. Uh, and now this one's already got the screw on it because I had some of these ready prior to. So this is the 2400 kV uh, Brother Hobby Speed Shield. This is the Chaos Edition that they made for us. Um, so let me get this one ready. All right, again, that's 2400 kV. I'm gonna, that's, that's not a six millimeter screw. Let me pull this top one out, that's seven millimeter. It's a little too long for the stand. Let me put a six millimeter on there. All right, so this is the 2400 kV Chaos. And we will be able to get a reading from this one. So let me do that. All right, so that gives us pretty much a dead on reading of 2404. So there's that. I'll accept that, that's fine. And again, this one's over by just a little bit. Uh, the T motor was under by just a little bit. Usually I, I expect to see them over, not under, um, but uh, in either case. Um, so that 2400 tested at 2404. Let me put that back in the box. But yeah, I mean, I expect to usually see them over by just a little bit. Uh, let's do the 3400 kV. Okay. This is a pretty, this, this motor here is a pretty powerful motor, but it also gets very hot. So, uh, you know, people trying to rip this thing with a 5S are going to be surprised if you're riding in the 80% throttle range for a while. You're going to have a very hot motor when you're done. Although Brother Hobby says that's not a big deal, it can get very hot, so be very careful. Okay, so let's do this one. There we go. And we'll get started now. Okay, so 3400 is reading at 3452. All right, and let me see. It's, it's hot. Well, I, I gotta tell you, well, I think I just kicked the camera here a little bit. Let me set that, all right. It's warm, there's no doubt about it. This motor's warm, but it put out what it said at 3400 RPM, it put out a little bit over that. I'm pleased with that. Let's take this off. All right, we'll put this in the box, and then we're gonna go to the Chaos 2108. And again, this is the 2207 and a half, 2108, 2207.5, 2108. Okay, so let's put that there and let's open this one.
All right, here we go. This is going to be the 2108. Wait, hold on. Let me stop this real quick. Make sure I got everything connected because it did not initialize with me. All right, that should be good. All right, so that's a 2112 instead of 2108. Again, very close, very good. I'm pleased with that finding. Uh, much more, you know, if you're basing things on uh, the actual KV and it matters to you, uh, these kind of results are excellent then because you want to be as close as you can to your KV uh, if you're calculating uh, your amp usage and uh, uh, power consumption. So there we go. Plus, not to, not, not to mention the fact that you've got a incorporate your prop use in this there's quite a few things that really rely on this being accurate and so so far um, it looks like it's been very accurate uh, there was an issue with the 24 uh, with the 2400 uh, kV f uh, f42s so I think I had okay that's the one I tested I happen to have an extra one just sitting on the table here brand new so let me go ahead and grab that let me see if I can find that one I believe it's yeah it's this one here I don't think this one's been opened yet either Nope. So we're going to take another F40 out just to redo the um, test that we did initially where it reported back kind of higher. The 2400 reported at 2516. So let's see if this one does the same. And then if it doesn't, we'll run both motors again. Or we'll run the other motor again just to see if we get the same result. Right? So here we go. So let's put this one again. This is another brand new F40 Pro 2 2400 KV out of the box. Uh, never been used before. And let's just see what it reads. Okay, now obviously our battery voltage has gone down, but KV is, is relative to the, uh, I mean, it's a constant. It doesn't matter what your voltage is. You'll just get that much less RPM, but the KV is still the same. So do not worry about the battery, but it's only dropped just a little. It's still 15.9 on the 4S, so that's all right. All right, here we go. So let's get started, and this is going to be the, um, let me put this piece of paper here. We're going to call this the F, the P2, F40, oh my gosh, a second run on the 2400 KV, okay? So here it goes. Again, 2524. So um, we're getting a pretty high reading on these F40s. So now I need to check something again. Let me just let me just get this off of here because that's two F40s that are reading much higher KVs than what I had. Which means that really, I mean, if you're looking for a 2500 KV motor, the F40 Pro 2 2400 would be ideal. But I mean, this is not giving a 2400 KV uh, reading to me. So let me see what I've got here. Right, and I just, I mean, I'm pretty 100% sure on this, but I gotta check. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, yeah, that's it. All right, so I mean, one of the things that seems to be constant here is that the 2400 KV F40 Pro 2 is reading, that's two different ones now, reading at 2500 uh, plus 2500 KV. So the first one, uh, let's switch this out here. So let's go back here. All right, so what we've got here is between the two, um, the F40 2600 ran at 2662, the F40 2400 ran at 2516 the first time, 2524 the second time, two different motors, right? The F60 2500 ran at 2492, so that one ran under the KV, while the others ran over, one of them considerably over, in the 2500 KV range. The Chaos Edition by Brother Hobby, which is a Speed Shield, Speed Shield series, the Chaos meaning they made it for us with the rainbow, uh, uh, metallic rainbow covers. Uh, the 2400 ran at 2404, the 3400 ran at 3452, and the 2108 ran at 2112. 
Uh, in terms of in terms of uh, accuracy, there I would say that um, the Brother Harvey motors seem to be very accurate in that area. Uh, but that is just six motors, guys. We have about 40 to go. I won't continue the video here as far as, you know, with this one, this 20 minute long video, but the idea is to kind of show you what we're working with, right? And I'll try to make the camera angles and everything a little bit better, but for right now, this should give you an idea. And, you know, we're going to go through some non-name brand motors too. Some, you know, I, I can even pull, you know what, I'll tell you what, let me see one thing here. If I've got it here. Well, I, I think I had an Emacs here somewhere and I'm going to pull everything. I mean, I, there's no sense in not doing it. And if this is all it is, is to just show how close the manufacturers are to their actual KVs, okay? Uh, other than that, guys, uh, please, again, if you have any questions now, I have to ask that you please use our form to fill it. It's easier for me to, um, to keep track of. And then, as always, please follow us on Facebook and please subscribe to us on YouTube, okay? Other than that, God bless. Stay flying, guys. Be careful and do not break the law. Please, thank you. Spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. Enjoy every minute of it. See ya. Peace. Bye.